and I want to bring in the founder and creator of God's Misfits. It's a group that says it is for people who, quote, feel out of place in a church. Uh, the leader is a preacher who goes by the name of Squirrel, and he is kind enough to join me now. I know this, the Squirrel name is a, a, a name that you got in ninth grade. It's adorable, but it's how you are addressed, so I will use it as well. Thank you for being here. Your reaction to hearing that four people were arrested in a horrific double murder who police say are members of God's misfits and police describe that group as an anti-government and religious group. What are your thoughts? My thoughts is his God is not my God. He's serving a different God because the God that I serve condemns such hate and such actions. So I don't know what God he's serving. He's serving himself. He's serving Satan. He's definitely not serving the God I serve. And my Had heart you goes ever out. Heard, uh, yeah, I mean, in. it is such a sad, sad story, honestly. Had you ever heard of these four uh, defendants? And I'll read their names again. Tiffany Adams, Tad Cullum, uh, Cora Twombly, and Cole Twombly. And then I'll throw in Paul Grice uh, for good measure, because the police say all five of them were part of a group called God's Misfits. I have never heard of them or ever seen the picture of them. Or I've never been to Oklahoma. Or, uh, I have no relation with them at all. And you, as I understand it, God's Misfits, your group, is basically an online ministry. And correct me if I'm wrong, sir, but it's just you and your wife who post uh, videos online and that you have like 284 followers on your Facebook page, but these people are not part of that? <laughs> if they are, I don't know of it, but no, if, well, uh, God's Misfits. I used to have God and Biker's website, and then when I hurt my back and everything that happened, and I, I got the name God's Misfits. Out of James chapter four, verses four through five, that friendship with the world is being an enemy with God. So that means that when you come to God, you actually become a misfit of the world. And being a misfit of the world means you no longer do the hate that the world does. You've got the love like the Father does. You no longer hold grudges like the world does. you got to forgive like the Lord does. And when the Holy Spirit comes and lives in a person's heart and changes them from the inside out, it becomes so much easier. But Sir, I didn't it know sounds them. to me, it sounds to me like your ministry is strictly about religion. Um, is there any part of your ministry or your members um, that is anti-government? Nope. It's just... Me and my wife, no, we're not anti-government at all. Um, we vote. I have three ways. I have, I can pray, I can fast, and I can vote. The scripture says, if you look in Romans, I think scripture says that God puts in office who he wants in office, and he uh, brings out of office who he doesn't want in office. So even though I don't, it doesn't always make me happy, I have to go with that, that. God's word is true, no matter what. So we pray. We pray for our president. We pray for our country. We pray for our veterans. No, I'm not anti-government anti at all. I love our country. I'm not real happy about things that are going on right now, but that's all around the world. So there's not another planet to live on. Can I ask you? Sir. You know, I'm I'm imagining that this is such a high profile case and there is such keen interest all around the country, dare say the world, about what happened on that lonely stretch of road uh, where, where those two poor victims were murdered. Um, when God's misfits came up in the affidavits, did you find yourself uh, all of a sudden deluged with people who wanted to share a piece of their mind? Well... I don't have cable. All I have is antenna, and I only watch the local weather news, and I never heard 
anything about what's going on in Oklahoma. So all I know is my wife has got a condition and she needs a medication that she's been on for 20 plus years. And the health insurance company that she's been getting it from won't give it to her. So we're dealing with that. And then I had to take her to the doctor and I had to take her to the chiropractor. All of this has come up. And then next thing you know, I'm sitting out in the parking lot of the chiropractor's office looking on my phone while she's in getting adjustments and stuff because her condition has gotten worse. So anyway, and then I find all these people that are attacking me from the from the website and from the Facebook page and stuff. And I had to do a Google search to find out what they're talking about. I thought they what a I had no clue. And then when I did that search. And I, I made that video is try to respond to them the best way I could. And well, it's an, it's entirely it's possible, when, when sir, that like that. Yeah, I was gonna say it's entirely possible that that it's a coincidence, right? They they might have just chosen that name for their small group and maybe it's a larger group i don't know right now we know five members according to the officers who put out the affidavit but um sounds like you got uh you know swept up in this pretty unfairly I i'm very thankful that you came on the program tonight and i appreciate you setting the record straight about your group god's misfits online uh versus whatever their group might be thank you so much for for doing this tonight i really appreciate it I appreciate it too. And I hope you have a good night. You too. God bless. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.